Hi and welcome to the Azam Sharp channel on YouTube. I'm your host Muhammad Azam and this is the continuation of the sheep jump game that we are building using the Stride Kit framework of iOS 7. Uh, this is part number four and of course if you have not watched part number one and two and three I highly recommend that you do so. Let's, let me go ahead and run this. This is where we are. We, as you can see we have added some uh, stuff like the scenery parts like the cloud and the tree and the the moon in the last part number three uh, we also have this foreground as well as the background moving or scrolling so this is kind of like the infinite scrolling that's going on and it's going to keep on repeating so of course you will have to learn those things so i highly recommend starting with part number one two and three now in this part we are going to animate the sheep and also we are going to refactor a little bit of code because right now all the code associated with sheep is in the file which is our in our main scene file so you uh, in order to make the game much more maintainable in the future to add more features uh, it's highly advised that you move the code and you refactor the code and structure the code okay so I've already added a class it's called uh, sheep and it is basically inherited from SK sprite node and if you see over here you won't really uh, have anything over here so this is what we are going to do so over here basically I can return instance type and I can say init so this will be my init method the initializer and now I can actually go ahead and implement this this guy over here uh, a lot of people have asked me where I got the graphics so if you search for Vicky Winderlich you will find all the graphics uh, um, on the website especially uh, I think that the tree the moon and all the background and the scenery parts Vicky Winderlich and um, another thing people ask me about the graphic for the sheep uh, I think you can open game art if you if you go over there you can find a lot of stuff okay so over here basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sheep and I'm just going to use the same uh, thing and instead of actually hard coding it over here we can create a string constant and sheep image or whatever you want to call it and this can be sheep walk one okay and we can replace that with sheep image uh, same things uh, that we did in the in the previous part like we added the bunch of uh, the physics attributes uh, I'm just going to add it over here the same physics attributes which is the the physics body and the restitution and the return self so this will create us a sheep uh, object so whenever you create whenever you initialize the sheep it will already know that the image for the sheep is sheep underscore walk underscore one which of course is this image over here let's go ahead to our main scene we have already added this guy over here sheep dot edge um, let's go ahead and change this to sheep and wherever we are adding the sheep instead of doing all of that now we can say sheep and then we can initialize okay go ahead and build it go ahead and run it and you will see that it's pretty much the same the sheep actually jumps also uh, the jumping part we can also move in uh, in the other place so let's find the jumping part over here this is the jumping part right so you shouldn't have this guy over here uh, you can simply expose a very simple method jump and go ahead to the implementation file and implement this method which is jump and we will say over here self and then if we can go back we can simply say over here sheep jump and this is much more simpler now you have control over the jump right there we go it's the same pretty much the same thing going on but, uh, but one of the problems with the sheep is that it's not really animating 
Okay, so let's let's go ahead and do that. Let's set up, set up some sort of animation going on. Uh, so I'm going to call setup animation. This is our custom method. You can call any anything you want. It doesn't really matter. And we are going to call it setup animation over here. Now for animation, there are images that you will need, which are in supporting files. So this is the sheep walk one, and you can if you can notice. There's a little bit of change going on in walk two, walk three, walk four, and when you repeat all of these things, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and very, uh, like you know, repeat, repeat it in a high frequency or uh, really fast, then you'll see that it's basically animation going on, and that is what we are trying to do. So we have to load all these images into textures, and then we will uh, going to create those images and then run those uh, using actions into uh, by creating the animation. So here it is, and we're going to say integer i equal to 1, i is less than or equal to 4, i plus plus. Okay, and the texture name that we are trying to get, which is string with format and this is sheep underscore walk underscore and then we're going to pass in i so it's going to load those images sk texture texture sk texture and then we have texture with image name and texture name textures add object and then we're going to add the texture all right uh, once we have done that we are going to create an action over here we are going to call it sheep walking action now actions we i don't know if we have done actions or not um, action is basically anything you want to do with it you can do animated uh, you can uh, make it go in circles uh, so any kind of thing that you can like a physical thing that you can do with it uh, you can also repeat actions so those are basically actions you can move action so you can move from one place to another so we're going to run this action and we are going to use the sk action um, this is called a repeat forever action and then we're going to pass the sheep walking action okay and that's pretty much it so this will be fired the setup animation will be fired whenever you initialize the sheep so when you run it now and here we go the sheep is actually animating kind of like a, a limpy animation going on that's the reason of course is that i didn't really cut the images correctly uh, but if you get the you know equal size images uh, then you will see that you know that is it will look much better and of course it jumps and everything so I didn't really have the images for jump but uh, you can change all of those okay cool cool uh, so that's pretty much for this tutorial once again uh, if you uh, are looking for an iOS developer uh, mainly for the business apps. I also do games, but not that much gaming. Uh, I have been working on some games, but for business apps or for games, uh, you can contact me at adamsharp at gmail.com uh, and I'm available. So if you do have uh, business apps needs, like if you want to create some sort of, uh, I don't know, any kind of business apps that you have, uh, it can be, uh, you know, a traveling app, it can be a recipe cooking app or whatever uh, business kind of apps, you know, you have or any kind of need that you have. You can contact me at adamsharp at gmail.com um, and I can help you out with that. Uh, you can uh, hire me for my consulting services. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, that's pretty much it. So in the next tutorial, hopefully we'll add some uh, blocks and then uh, we will have some uh, collision detection and the sheep will have to jump on from the fences or the blocks that we add uh, to earn points. Okay, thank you very much and stay tuned for more videos.